Hi, this is Jeremy from MicroStrategy Blog. Today I'm going to show you how to do a workaround for microcharts in MicroStrategy um, Desktop. So, <clears throat> first thing, I'm going to create a new document and I'm going through the MicroStrategy Analytics modules in MicroStrategy tu Tutorial. I'm going to make a blank document. And what I'm going to actually use as the data source for this is, as you can see here, the category sales report, which is in subject a areas, sales and profitability analysis. All right, so if we look at data sets, we can see this category sales report here. Now there's something funny about data sets, which uh, if you've used MicroStrategy before, it's one of the quirks. So if you go into de detail, and you actually try to drag this report into detail, it won't allow you to do that. You can drag individual, say you want to drag your category, your month, and uh, your subcategory all in. That's fine. You can do that and say, I want to know profit. Then you can go ahead and execute that as a PDF. <clears throat> and it will show you the detail for those individual cross sections. But what it doesn't allow you to do, and you can see all these cross sections here. This is just a quick example. What it doesn't allow you to do is throw in a chart there. But we're going to do a workaround that will show you how to do uh, basically nice little micro charts within MicroStrategy and uh, have them tile down. So we're actually going to ignore the uh, footer and we're going to ignore the detail. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag this category sales report into the detail header. And we're going to make sure uh, we're going to go ahead and keep that large for now. So I'm going to keep a month subcategory. And I don't need all of these metrics, so I'm going to actually um, right click, remove from grid, and I'm going to remove all metrics. And what I care about right now is just profit. And we're going to be tweaking around the report a little bit. And it's just to kind of play with the idea of how do we present this data uh, in such a way that it's, it's palatable for the user. But uh, it'll take a little bit of back and forth, so this isn't something that's necessarily practiced on my end where you're going to get something perfect the first time. So say we do uh, subcategory. That's what I care about really in this. So I'm going to bring subcategory over there. And I'm going to remove subcategory from the report. All right. So just here's kind of an example detail header. And I'm going to drag that uh, say category actually and subcategory we're just gonna mess around and see what this does <clears throat> so there's your subcategory there's your category let's see what this looks like make this chart a little smaller or this grid a little smaller so that we can collapse it and we'll just execute kind of to see what we have. So now you can see books, art, and architecture, and there's your month metrics, your month metrics and profit. All right? So as you um, collapse, you can see there's your categories, pick your category, pick your subcategory, and you can page through all your individual items. Well, we don't really want to page through. So we're going to do a couple of tricks here. And so we're going to go to edit. <clears throat> I'm sorry, not edit. It's editing, the editing the attribute. We just actually want to edit how that attribute behaves in this document. Let's try this again. So we're going to go to grouping properties, sorry. And instead of showing the single element are all, we're just going to show um, all only. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for that. And again, this is just meant to be kind of an example of what we can do. So we're going to go to back to uh, view mode. We're going to switch switch this to graph view. So now you actually have your months across the bottom and you can see for category and subcategory. So let's see what that looks like. All right. So subcategory all, category all. What it's going to allow us to do at this point is really scroll through every single chart. There's your books for business, your books for literature, and there's a nice chart there showing profit by month. Again, the goal of this, though, is how do you get a micro chart in here so it's actually easier to read? So the way you do a micro chart is we're actually just going to remove all of the formatting because formatting doesn't really matter when you're looking at micro charts. You're just looking for trend analysis. 
So let's clear the label. We'll clear this label. We'll get rid of the legend. We're going to change the background to uh, a white transparent. And we're going to change the border to white as well. So now we really have something that's almost going to be see-through. Check the properties, make sure there's no back color. We'll change that back color to white. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. So now you pretty much have a white chart. There's your graph. Now let's actually do this, because this is what you can do in MicroStrategy that not a lot of people take advantage of in my experience. Let's make this chart small, really small. And we'll go to uh, Graph Options, and uh, let's check out the grids and scales. We'll get rid of all of the grids and scales for the Y as well. So now we just have a nice little chart. Let's go to Series Options. There's Profit, and we're actually going to show a trend line as well. And then we'll tell that, that this trend line will do linear. We don't need to worry about the equation. And instead of making it blue, actually it defaults to blue, I apologize. So we'll stick with blue. All right, so there we go. So now we have a nice little uh, graph that's pretty much going to be a micro chart as far as we're concerned. And let's move these two next to each other. So now we have category subcategory. Let's collapse this so we're not taking up room. We'll make these a little larger so we're making better use of that space. And again, the idea is just to show what you can do, not what you should do. Let's make this a little larger. There's your category, subcategory. And you can see everything else is collapsed. So we just have category, subcategory, and a nice little chart. So what does this look like? There you go. Books, electronics, audio equipment. There's actually your micro charts with a trend line over time for whatever category you want. So let's say you don't like that graph. Then you just simply go in, we go to graph type, we change it from area to line. Now we have a nice little line chart. Now you can actually see some sort of trend analysis over time in a small way. And you can really, uh, with MicroStrategy, what's great is you can actually make this chart as small as you want. Say, we want it to be much smaller. Take up even less room. And of course, there's some tweaks that you can do. You know, say I don't like necessarily the the border that's there. You have to work your way through the options. We'll get rid of markers on lines. Nobody likes those. Background. Make sure there's no fill, no border frame. You can get rid of a frame. You can get rid of the border there. Now we really just have a true line. There you go. So there's how a, a kind of ad hoc way to put together a for all categories, for all interest microchart. So feel free to play around with it. And, and keep in mind that yeah, normally you can page through things, but at this point you're not really looking for the page through option. You're actually just going, okay, how do we create a PDF that's distributable that shows some sort of a simple analysis. So if you have any questions, my name is Jeremy, and I can be reached microstrategyblog at gmail.com. Thank you very much.